So what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a small little update video on the beta 2 of the Galaxy S8 Oreo beta program. There are no cosmetical changes over here and literally I'm recording this at 7am at morning like that's that dedication. But seriously at the end of the day it's just going to be people making fun of my accent. So guys a small little message if you are a viewer who is a native English speaker if you're not actually able to understand my English I don't know what's wrong with you maybe go back to school or just turn on auto generated caption that helps too. And and let's just begin. So there are a ton of bug fixes under the hood. Random rebooting issue was just a smaller update and this update was around like 608 MBs. It applies the Google security October patch and also Samsung Dex ability has been improved as the UI for it has been also changed but right now I don't have Dex so I can't actually demonstrate it. But that's not it. Samsung never shares the majority of the part that they actually include in their ROMs. So I got this little bit inside over here. I get information from everywhere. Beta 2 also contains stability for Greencast which is also smart view for Samsung so your display can actually now turn off while screen mirroring which is a new feature again transparency of the notifications have been added also there are new clocks for the always on display and still it's not enough there are more features that I found inside this build so let's just go to the settings first of all as you can see on the software info the baseband has been updated to the ZQ K4 as like the Snapdragon versions it doesn't say build 2 the release 2 which is quite weird down over here October 5 which is not the latest patch some of the Samsung devices actually have the November patch so we are kind of late over here but the majority of the part would be into the lock screen security so not into the security department but how actually the lock screen looks so going to the app shortcuts there is a new preview so the wallpaper over here has been a bit darkened out going to the notifications as you can see now you can actually select the transparency of the notification which is not actually a needed feature but kind of nice touch by Samsung as you can see you can make it completely transparent or just keep it right over here so you get the perfect balance again you have your normal stuff now if you go to the always on display the menu has been completely changed you can't actually change how your always on display looks through over here but if you go to the clock and face widgets there's the whole thing you get clock style roaming clock which is the normal stuff face widgets contact information and adaptive color adjust the color of the lock screen content automatically based on the wallpaper scheme so if i actually turn this on again my clock has been adapted kind of like the color of the background the orange and blue just a cool little touch by samsung but if you go to the clock style you have new always on display and standard clock options over here which is just awesome looks kind of neat but it's it's kind of hard to read off the time again this is a new one this one i guess this is from the note 8 again this is a new one again this one looks cool it's from the gear s3 i guess also you have the sidebar again which was removed you can also select for the colors over here which is kind of good let me just show you on a bigger one for example this one so in order to apply for the lock screen you have to select for the lock screen and it shows your wallpaper and then you can get preview how it can look so as you can see this one actually looks dope but i can't actually read out the text again you have this two bars which is again beautiful some of the clocks which are not available on the always on display are present over here then again you have some colors you can't actually make it through the camera that's a sad part apply it over here and there you go that's my always on display and this is your normal lock screen now on the lock screen if you tap the clock you sort of have the screen saver which actually doesn't last is actually just based on your screen time also i don't actually get the point of it but yeah it's actually available now it matches with music controller for example if you now tap it there you go music control expands like that once you fail to put any kind of bar metrics such as fingerprint scan or anything you get like a refresh button over here if you have seen my beta 1 video kind of hated that oreo actually has only five icon options the teardrop squarical the square rounded corners circle which is only pixel exclusive these are the only five icons and samsung chose for the square so samsung actually just removed the square and has now updated with the squarical i guess that's how you spell it which looks much more beautiful your normal icons will be again squarical but they are not actually ugly as before so that's a new thing again going to the recent apps panel if you tap this you have only options for the list view so you can actually get a whole list of your apps so you can just basically jump into any kind of app much more easily just like that force closing of the settings has been now fixed again if you have any kind of error while playing your audio through bluetooth again that's fixed and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want any kind of updates on future betas please subscribe down there and if you want to flash this on your galaxy a set or a set plus i will leave a link in the description for a tour flashable zip but just use it on your own risk because some of the users have actually reported that they actually have their fingerprint scanner and their biometrics completely disabled after flashing it so be careful see you in the next one peace